Hello and welcome to the part two of management accounting budgeting AAT level four revision class. You must have checked out our revision lecture one that was live. This is the recorded video for especially for KBIM students, but to many other students going to get benefited. There are eight tasks we already covered in revision lecture one, four tasks, four more tasks we're going to cover in this video task number five what are you going to expect in task um, number five look at this forecasting budget uh, preparation so these are the items breaking budgets into counting periods revising budgets hmm? operating budgets illustration assumption so for 20 marks you can expect these things and how many minutes i said 18 minutes for each marks because totally 150 minutes available for 160 marks so less than a minute um 18.75 but to be safe side 18 minutes needed so for all the tips you can check my other video let's go over here in this particular question getting started reading the question for you select the appropriate term to match each of these description one to detailed budget prepared by functional managers functional managers are floor level managers a collate to form a master budget so the bottom level managers made a master budget let's see the drop down list so i already said bottom up budget this is um, the best answer here uh, flexing no uh, revision fixed incremental no rolling semi variable stepped top down no variable cost zero no so the better answer here is bottom up budgeting bottom up a cost that fluctuates in direct proportion to changes level of activity this is what type of cost variable cost isn't it you see the answers from the back of the book here bottom up variable cost well done moving on to the next part of the question for seven marks this is a calculation question Calculate the sales value uh, revenue and production cost budget for April using the information provided. Some information given, little box given in the box. I can see uh, budgeted units sold and produced for the year and even for a month given. Let's go check out the requirement. In the requirement, you have submitted a draft. This is what you need to do basically for April. I can see, yeah, sales for the year given 12 months. Year means 12 months, and you've got to do only one month. And material, labor, variable, fixed, uh, all these are given. So I need to fill all the information here. Just erasing. Let's go to the top of the question into the uh, calculate the sales revenue, yeah, and production cost budget. So revenue, which is this revenue, yeah, we're going to do in a minute. No problem with that. And the other cost budget is uh, for April, people. Be careful. April, only one month using the information provided. Each unit is made from 0.85 kilogram of material costing 2.60 per kg. Keep it in your head. Uh, each unit requires 10 minutes uh, of direct labor. 3,300 hours time is available in April and extra hours must be worked for overtime. So direct labor rate is 15 per hour, overtime paid at 40%. I'd like to do the 40% getting the calculator on screen here. So do, 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 15 times by 0.4, which gives you 6 plus 15. If I do 21 is the basic plus premium equals to 21. Yeah, basic is 15, premium is 621. Variable production overhead relates to labor hours, including overtime. Okay, we'll talk about the production. That is based on labor hours anyway. Fixed production hours are incurred at STD monthly rate across the year. So units sold and units produced, these are budgeted uh, for a year and a month of April is given. Slightly different um, uh, production and sales could be into the closing inventory maybe needed maybe not let's check it out now the first requirement here is uh, 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 don't jump that much yes better sales if this is the yearly sales divided by the number of units budgeted and multiply but the number of units should be sold for the month of april how much is the budgeted let me show you highlighting rather for you units sold budgeted was 238,000 yeah and for april is 20,000 divided by 238 times by 20,000 that's what you're going to do just bear in mind taking my calculator on screen 
15,94,600 divided 238,000 times by 6.7 is per unit, yeah? Times by 20,000 we sold it. So you go to 134,000, write it down, 134,000, that's my sales, that's the first one. Second one, you know, about materials used. So, we, if you know 0.85 kg materials going to be used, yeah, and how many units um, in April is budgeted to be produced? 21,000 and A, 0 0.85 is this one highlighting for you and 2.6 is the kg. These are the things we're going to multiply. 0 0.8 kg for 21,000 um, units or uh, whatever is the kg required. Let's see how many kgs required. 0 0.85 times by 21. We need 70,850 kg and each kg is supposed to cost you 260. So 46,410. 46,410 we said, right? Okay. And labor, if you remember how many minutes of labor needed, uh, 10 minutes labor needed. So I'd like to do a little working here. 10 minutes, let me show you at the top here in the question highlighting for you. 10 minutes labor needed and uh, 3,300 labor hours available. Anything more than 3,300, you need to pay 40% extra, which is basically 21. Let's check it out. For 21,000 uh, units we want to produce, how many in the month of April, how many labor hours you need? 10 minutes times by 21,000, yeah? How many minutes you need? Divided by 60 is better to do straight, yeah? Mm divided by 60 so you're gonna get hours let's check it out 10 minutes for 21,000 you see do 10,000 hour a minutes needed divided by 60 if I do 3,500 hours needed do you have that many hours no you have 3,300 hours don't you so 200 hours over time OT. So 3,300 hours would be paid at 15 pound and 200 hours would be paid at what 21 isn't it yeah so let's do it, 21, and let's get the answer. So 3,300 basic hours would be paid basic rate 49,500, yeah? And uh, other 200 hours would be paid at 21. Basic plus premium is 4,200. 4,200 plus 49,500. Uh, uh, 53,700 should be our answer. 53,700. That should be your labor cost. Variable production overhead. Yep. So that varies with the level of activity. What are you going to do? Uh, this divided by number of units produced times by uh, uh, budgeted times by numbers produced for the month of April. So this divided by how many number of units produced? 246,000. Yep. So divided by 246, let's do it on calculator. 95940 was budgeted for 246 divided by 236,000 times by, if I meant to find out for 21,000, it should be 8190. Fixed production overhead, 96,000, that is fixed So for 12 months. So 96,000 divided by 12 for one month, it should be 8,000, shouldn't it? Let's get the total then, yeah? Mm, total production cost. We got the sales anyway. Now adding up the total production cost. Let's do it on the screen calculator. 46,410 plus 53,700 plus 8,190 plus 8,000. And I got... 116,300. All right, that's my V. Let's check the question answer quickly. 6116,300 is the right answer. Well done, you're going good. Number C, you have submitted draft operating budget to budget committee. The committee has asked you to budget for an alternative scenario and calculate the increase or decrease in expected profit. 
Complete the alternative scenario column in the operating budget table and calculate the increase or decrease in profit for the sales price per unit figure. Enter any decimal places if relevant. So decimal places can be entered. Um, for the other figures, round the nearest whole number. Okay, only for sales, we're going to put the decimal place, rest around the whole number. 11 good marks. So let's keep going over the um, assumptions in the first scenario. Material labor costs are variable. Keep it in your mind. Depreciation is a stepped cost, increasing every 6,000 units. Okay. There is an allowance for energy price rise of 6.75%. Uh, this is in the first scenario. There could be alternative. There is, in fact, alternative scenario. Increase in selling price by 5%. Whatever is my selling price, it's going to be increased in the alternative scenario. Reduce the sales volume is going down by 8%. It's reduced. And revise the energy price from 7.5% uh, to 10%. So already into the assumption first scenario, look at this operating budget here. First draft is given. Alternative, we need to do it, don't we? So let's start from the top-down approach. Sales price unit. Sales price is twelve pound per unit, but uh, it says increase uh, five percent. So taking the calculator screen and calculating twelve times by zero point zero five is zero point six increase. So twelve point six. Twelve point six. You can do another way, which you, everybody knows it. Twelve times by one hundred and five percent, and you get twelve point six zero or twelve point six will do the answer okay and then you know the next one this volume is going down by some eight percent or something like that yeah it is eight percent so let's do the eight percent of it uh or 92 percent in fact any way uh, you do it give it the right answer eighty thousand times by 0 0.92 it's 73600 yeah 73,600. What should be the revenue? 73,600 times by 12.6, shouldn't it? Times by 12.6. You should get 927,360. That's our answer so far. Now, you know, regarding material labor, energy, and depreciation, whatever the additional information given, we're going to follow. So let's check it out. The material and labor is um, uh, going to be straightforward, easy, because it says it's a variable. It varies at the level of activity. So if the material and labor here is this, we divided by 80,000 and multiply by 73,600, we should get an answer. Let's do it. 392,000 divided by 8,000 times by 73,600. What you get is 360,640. Same way we're going to do labor. It varies at the level of activity, 2 to 4,000, divided by 80,000 units times by, it has gone down to 73,600. You've got 206080. <laughs> 206080. Oh, nice figures. Well, regarding energy, it's 43,000. But did you see in the existing draft, first draft, it is already 7.5% extra. The allowance for an energy price will rise 7.5%. So you need to assume here 43,000 is 107.5% already. We need to make it to 110%. How do you do it? Follow me on the screen calculator. 43,000 divided by 107.5 times by 110. You should get that is the increase from 43, it became 44,000. If you need to. Check the calculation one more time. You can go back of this video 10 seconds back and check it out. Depreciation was a stepped cost. Uh, I remember for every 6,000 units, it is a step. So for 80,000 um, units, how many steps are there? 80,000 divided by what? Tell me. Yes, 80,000 divided by 6,000. How many steps are there? 13.33. That means 14 steps are there, shouldn't it? 14 steps are there. So for 42,000, if there are 14 steps, 42,000 divided by 14, Per step is costing you 3,000, right? Per step is costing you 3,000. So how many steps should be in this um, 73,600? Let's do it. 73,600 units divided by 6,000 units. You get 12.26 means 13 steps. How many steps? 13 steps. 13 times by 3,000 you do. 13 times by 3,000. You get 39,000. That should be a stepped cost, yeah? 39,000. 
I believe we've got our costs. Now you get to total of the cost first and then to take away uh, this from sales to get your GP cross profit, right? Let's get the total of the cost. 39,000 from bottom up, I'm doing 40 plus 44,000 plus 206080 <laughs> plus 360640. What do you get is 649720. Take away from, I'm doing a little cheeky way, minus 927. 360 but you basically do 927360 minus uh, the cost which is 649720 you should get the answer this time it's minus but it should be positive when you do from the top so 277640 aha uh -huh, that's great so it's your gross profit how much it has increased from previous profit minus 259 da 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 Oh, we had a minus sign in the 277640. So be careful with the cheeky rate. Minus 259. Da, 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 da. 18,640 is increased. 18,640. So let's quickly check the answer. The final answer would give us the 8,640. Yeah, good. Well done. That's how you do. That was our question number five let's go to question number six what exactly comes in so many things here mm, standard costing and budget flexing it's going to be nice one many students love it controlling comparing budget and actual things here so flexing the budgets let's check it out there is a small theory question i can see select the appropriate term to match the following description for two marks a financial measure of the difference between budget and actual performance so financial measure uh, difference between the difference between the actual and uh, budgeted is known as variance, doesn't it? Not analysis, just variance. So write it down. Checking the answer. This is the right answer. Well done. Moving to the next one here. Let's read the question very very carefully. The scenario is given here. Then the boxes are given here. We got to fill in the boxes. Reading the scenario, the operating statement of October showed that direct raw material costs were this much for that many kg of materials was used, that many items. All these are actual people, all these are actual, were made and sold, that means 100% actual. Yeah. The standard, now talking about standard cost means budgeted, was 1.6 kilogram of material for each item at a standard price. Now, is standard usage given? Is standard price given? Complete the following table. We're going to do one by one. You, do, you got to flex your budget. You got to flex your budget. For 6,000 items, how many kg should have taken? 1.6 each unit, shouldn't it? And how much should have cost you? 14.5, shouldn't it? That's what we're going to do it here. So, flex the standard cost for 6,000 kg units. 1.6 kilogram should have taken and whatever is the answer times by 14.5 you get the answer here let's do it on screen calculator 6000 units should have taken times by 1.6 so it should take 9600 kg 9600 kg and uh, multiply by 14.5 yeah 139 200 so can you see i'm going to keep two information here 9600 and 139 200 First, 139, 200 should have costed and 9,600 should have taken. But how many kg it has taken? It's taken more. That is not good. We might need it later on. Uh, let's keep going from the top down. As I said, actual, actual material price per kg. So actual informations are given. Let me erase this information here and in the highlighting. And actual cost is this 142,560 divided by actual kg. You're going to get... Um, the actual material price per kg. So taking the calculator on screen, putting it to a little right hand side, and 142,560 divided by 9,900. So actual cost is 144. 1440 or 144. Actual material used per item. So how many kgs used? 9,900. 9,900. Come on, where is my 9900? Yeah, used to produce 6,000 
units, right? So how many kgs used actually? 1.65. So 0.5 taken extra. 1.65. That is going to be adverse. So let's calculate the next one. Your price variance. How much is the price variance? How do you calculate it? You can do like this way. 9,900 kg used already, but it should have cost 14.5 standard per kg is 143.550. So, how do you do it? I could do this times by that. It should have taken 143.550. 143, 143.550. It should have taken, but it did take how much? Less. 142560. So you know, in fact, your price variance is good. Yeah. Minus 142560. Actually, it has taken you less than 990. Price variance is actually good. And you they said drop down adverse or favorable. It's favorable. But I believe usage is not believe. In fact, we found a usage should have taken 9600, but did take more. It has taken actually how much extra? Check it out. Mm, 300? No? Yeah, 6789. 300. Adverse. That 300 should be costing at 14.5. That is our adverse cost. 300. No. 300 times by 14.5 is 4350 is bad. 4350 is adverse. And how much is the cost variance? Cost means price. These two are sub variance, isn't it? Price and usage sub variance. So added up together, you get cost variance. So one favorable, one adverse. So plus 990 minus 4350. Ultimately, it's 3360. Yeah? 3360. And that is at first. We have one more item here cost variance percentage. Uh, cost variance percentage. You know, this is your cost variance, and you get the percentage compared to your budgeted cost. So, this is your budget 139,200. What is the percentage of it? Let's take it on screen. 336 is already there. Divided 139,200 times by 100. So, 2.4 percentage. 2.4 percentage. One decimal places has uh, uh, been set to take. So, that will do the job. Let's check the answer for B. A is variance, and B is. Yeah, good, 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 good. And 2.4% is correct answer. Well done. Let's move to the next one. C for eight marks, another big chunk of marks. Prepare the direct labor cost statement from the activity data provided around to the nearest whole number if necessary. So budget is this many items, labor hours given, the cost, actual results are given. Similar like the uh, materials, yeah? So let's go bottom not up <laughs> yeah here it is asked how do you get the standard labor cost of production your standard labor cost of production so what you're going to do your budgeted cost is 65880 and that's for 18,300 uh, units, isn't it? Yeah. This divided by that, multiply by actual. You should get the standard cost of the production. Doing it on all calculator, or just for your understanding, I'm writing it here. Multiply by 18,800. Follow me on the calculator. If 65,880 was budgeted for 18,300 divided by 18,300, your standard cost per unit is 3.6 and actually it took 18,800 times by 18,800. It should have costed you 67,680. So 67,680. Uh, uh, well, that is the standard cost of the production of how many units? 18,800 units should cost us that based on our budget. Now, the next question here, they ask you variances. Be careful with that. Rate variance, efficiency variance, and when you add up both of you, you get 
uh, total uh, labor variance. How do you do it? Labor rate variance. So at first get the standard rate, you know, 65,880 for 3660 uh, hours. So let's get the standard rate of it. Yeah. So I'm doing it on a screen calculator, 65880 divided by 3660. So 18 is good to write it down. 18 is the standard uh, rate. 18 pound. 18 pound multiply by 4,700. So for 4,700 actually hours needed uh, uh, re uh, needed and used, 4,700 should cost you 84,600, shouldn't it? 84,600 should cost. But how much it did cost? Wow, it did cost you less, which is good. 82,720 minus 82,720. Uh, it is favorable by 1880. Write it down here, 18, 18. Now, how about the efficiency? And how do you do it? You, This is your budget again, 3,660 hours was budgeted for 18,300, divided by 18,300. So, how many hours? Let's see, 3,660 divided by 18,300. 0.2 hours was budgeted, standard. So, for 18,800 um Units, how many hours it should have taken times by 18,800. Let's do it on the screen calculator times by 18,800. 3760 should have taken, shouldn't it? 3760 should have taken. How much it did take? This is did. This is should. It taken a lot more. Not good. Minus 4700. It is taken extra 940. 940 hours, you are not efficient by. You've taken extra. Not good. Adverse. What do you multiply with? Multiply with the standard rate. Times by 18. You are adverse by 16,920. 16,920 you are adverse by. The so minus 16,920 plus 1880. The total variance is 15,040. 14,040. That is your labor cost of variance. And uh, that is the end of this question. And let's see the answers. Okay. And these are the answers. Well done. That is our question number six. Moving on to question number seven. It was a little squeezed. I had to make it bigger. Yeah. Question number seven. Let's see what comes in the question number seven, operating statement. We're going to get an operating statement, budget uh, preparation, control, comparing budget, actual costs, original budget, flex budget, a little bit of variable, semi-variable steps, fixed could come. To be honest, number seven is much easier to many students. Let's see what you need to do. I'd like to see the requirement first, a flexible budget, basically, you've got to do, yeah? Um original budget is here actual budget is there so we need to have an another flexible budget for the 7, uh, 76,000 units shouldn't it based on the budgets of 73,000 units uh -huh. oh that's it okay let's read the question from top to bottom in this task you are required to complete a monthly operating report the original budget and actual results have been entered you have the following information. Material labor, quality control, and distribution costs are variable. Four costs are already variable. Material labor, quality control, and distribution are variable. It's going to vary with the level of activity. Divided by 73,000 multiplied by 76,000 should satisfy our answers. So does the sales. Yep. Great. Moving on. Energy is a semi-variable. Fixed element is 18,000. You know the energy, let's see here, semi-variable, but of that, semi-variable means fixed plus variable. Fixed is 18,000. Rest varies with the level of activity. I'm going to show you the uh, workings here. Equipment is a stepped cost, but it to increase every 25,000 units of uh, monthly uh, production. So good to check how many steps are there. 73,000 is in. Let's do this working. Divide by 25,000 quickly. How many steps are there? So 73,000 was budgeted divided by 25,000. 
three steps yeah 2.92 means three steps three steps and in actually we produce 76,000 do I have the same thing how many steps are there just simple calculation then I will do the costs yeah 76,000 divided by 25,000 you got 3.04 means four steps yeah anything more than three is four steps four steps we're going to do the cost calculation later on then now all uh, other production orders includes a variable element 40 pence that means there might be fixed we don't know we will check it out all other costs are fixed there are some talkie talkie you can read it better to read complete the monthly operating report below flexing the budget for variances which either show adverse variance with negative figures using minus or brackets variance totals are calculated automatically so i know uh, i believe everybody knows what to do here is the flexible budget we're going to do yep based on our actual budgets so follow me on the calculator if your sales is 1.3 uh, something million for 73,000 units, so 1306700 divided by 73,000 times by 76,000, the budget should be 136400. Let's do the variance. You can see it's the budget is 136400 but actually it's tall which is less which is not good let's get the difference and obviously this is adverse so we got it so as a negative minus minus 12 84,800 you are at negative 74,800 you show this bracket the costs, uh, all these are variable. It's going to vary at the level of activity. I need to divide by 73, multiply by 76. It will give me the answer. So, doing it on the calculator. You do it on your calculator as well. 357, 700 was budgeted for 73,000 units. Divided by that, multiplied by 76,000 units. What I get is 372,400. Two, yeah? How much is it actually? Actually, it is more again bad cost more is bad yeah so minus three seven three eight hundred bad by how much fourteen hundred labor variable so doing on his screen calculator three zero six six hundred one more zero divided by seventy three thousand times by seventy six you get 319200 but it cost you less now it is good better let's compare it it cost you minus 317900 it cost you less by 1300 you're happy quality control is variable cost as well how much is that? 21,900 divided by 73 times by 76. A little cheeky way, still the same answer. 22,800, saving a little time. It should cost you, but it costs you more. Bad. Adverse. Adverse by how much? Minus 23,600. You get 800. Adverse. In a bracket, you're going to put a minus. It's going to do the job. So the distribution is variable cost as well. So how much is the distribution? 18 to 50. Look at the cheeky way. Divided by 73 times by 76. I'm ignoring it at triple zero, but it's still the same answer. 19,000 should cost. It did, did cost less, less by 200, which is good for you. I'm not using my calculator. Little bit of mental maths is all right. Now, energy, I said F plus V. F means fixed and V means variable. F, F fixed is 18,000 and rest is variable. So look at the screen on calculator. Of your 29,680, how much is fixed? Minus 18,000 is fixed. That means 11,680 is variable, doesn't it? Divided by 73 times by 76 my variable cost for 76,000 units is 12,160 plus 18,000 is my fixed cost altogether 30,160 should be my total cost that is my total cost but according to budget it should cost me but it did cost more bad bad by how much minus 33,200 uh, 3040 is your adverse is the adverse Equipment higher. I saw something regarding the equipment higher. Let's see it from the top. 
recruitment hire did you say something about equipment hires a step cost uh, yes we did in fact we did these steps three steps for budgeted and four steps for a flexible budget let's work it out now you know for the equipment cost how much is the cost three thirty seven thousand five hundred thirty seven thousand five hundred thirty seven thousand five hundred for how many steps divided by three in our flexible budget we need four steps don't we times by four how much it should cost according to the budget fifty thousand that is your workings you can do these workings in a piece of paper you better do it or you can do it on your calculator still fine fifty thousand according to your budget it should cost you but it did cost you very less forty three eight fifty let's check it out minus forty three eight fifty it is costing you less by six one five zero which is better good you're happy depreciation is 11,900 other production marketing admin only other production overhead said something rest is fixed they said let's check it out we have done this 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 other production is yet to do uh, other production is 40 pound pence per unit is variable so you know other let's do this one first or depreciation is fixed is going to be 11,900 yeah uh, so it should cost you 11,900 but it did cost you more 11,900 it cost you 12,400 <laughs> excuse me it cost you more by 500 bad adverse other production they said 0 0.4 is variable so 0 0.4 times by 73 thousand the variable is 29,200 okay out of this 29,200 is variable that means rest is fixed uh, let's get the rest minus 46,400 fixed is 17,200 17,200 17,200 is your fixed keep it in your head keep it in your head write it down somewhere now for 70,000 6,000 units as a 40 pence it should cost you variable is 30,400 plus 70,200 wasn't it it uh, fixed plus variable it gives you 47,600 47,600 it should cost you did cost you a little less a little better 46,300 is better by 1300 favorable marketing 73,000 as it is because the rest is fixed admin is fixed 63,000 it should cost you boom boom we have done all of it we just need to get the total of this and oh let's get the variances I didn't get the way so hold on it should cost you 73 it cost you more so it's bad bad by how much let's see 73,000 minus 75,600 it is bad by 2,600 yeah adverse it cost you more here as well so it is bad as well Sixty-three thousand should cost you but it did cost 64 200 1200 bad 1200 uh, the actual is given flexible we need to find it out from top to bottom and uh, let's get the total yeah so when I add all these things in my calculator, it gives me one zero zero nine one million nine thousand sixty actually. Yep, uh, it should cost me, but it did cost me nine six five zero, so slightly higher. Um, if I, I I'm using my manual calculator minus one zero zero nine six five zero, I got five ninety. 590 is the difference this is not zero it's 590 bad buy okay and if we meant to get the profit which i've already worked it out this cost is taken away from the sales at the top 136400 i get 351340 yeah or you just can a little extra time taking 1009 zero six zero minus oh i should have started with the sales shouldn't i <laughs> okay anyway thirteen six zero four hundred minus the cost should have done it shouldn't it that is your three five one three four zero instead of the minus it should be positive 
all right and um, then if i plus minus with this i'm gonna do a uh, plus this time two seven five nine five zero a little cheeky way seventy five thousand three ninety seventy five thousand three ninety bad because you know your profit according to budget should be more actually it is less so it is bad and uh, is that the end of this question it is it is a little lengthy but uh, you can get your full marks let's check our answers if the last answer is correct everything is correct uh, 5390 and yes yeah, uh, 5390 boom boom moving to the last question question number eight it is going to be a theory writing question on budgetary control system comparing budgets actual performance indicator so examples areas might be tested these are the items you can check it out and um, this is an explanation type of question let's check this out now this task number eight is all about theory writing writing many students they little struggle in writing uh, here are a few things you need to memorize why the variances occurs or any other related uh, uh, theory you need to memorize you need to know then you can report it you can write it down look at this there is i can see flexible budget actual and variance analysis given some data and information you must analyze the data get the percentage of it get the actual the absolute uh, differences and need to talk about it we're going to do it in a minute uh, i'd like to sh see the entire question i can see lots of talky talky here relevant information so which you need to extract from the question the information then we need to apply into the specific uh, requirements 10 marks 5 marks and 5 marks in my other video as well I showed you how to answer for this 10 5 5 marks let me repeat this this is an email yet again if it is for 10 marks one sentence one mark one valid information one mark another valid information likewise you're writing you're getting marks am I understood yep yeah? So you should get all your 10 marks like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One or two extra sentences would do the job. Well, that's what we're going to do in a minute. We're going to get identify all the information for 10 marks. And not just for 10 marks, 5, 5 other marks as well. Aiming for the total 20 marks. And uh, no bogus writing. Uh, but uh, to the point let's see the requirement explain the reasons for the variance of sales variance material you know even with the, without reading the scenario we can uh, give information like why sales variance occur materials very occur labor variance occur sales variance could be favorable adverse but why yeah because the demand gone up or maybe you have increased the prices or maybe demand gone down because that, that's the reason of adverse why how about materials with a favorable adverse or labor favorable adverse because maybe higher quality material low quality material high grade of labor low grade of labor more wastage could be efficiency could be there uh, more or more motivated employees could be there or more expensive materials were used expensive uh, uh, labor grades we use all these could be your reasons right even we don't need to do look at the scenario but we got to look at into the scenario got to be specific to the question and write the answers next one describe the information that the sales manager recurs from the accounting system to help him create a rational po uh, pricing policy to get a better pricing policy what information uh, the manager needs you know the pricing cost policy variable cost fixed cost even the selling price related uh, items uh, we need uh, to have it. so five marks for that and other five Describe any failings that you perceive in the budgetary control process and suggest how budgetary control failing could be anything. Uh, bad budgeting could be there, you know, and uh, standard costing might be used, might not be used. If it is not used, you can suggest it. Let's see the question now. In the question, uh, actually is for 635,000 pairs. And this is the sales actually, and for that the budgeted flexible budget was this. It's a favorable, very good. It's good to get the percentage, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, I'd like to get the percentage here on the screen. Thirty-one compared to divided by thousand eighty. So the sales has gone up by times by hundred, some two point eight seven means two point nine percent. Two point nine percent sales has gone up. That is good. But still, after having a uh, selling volume, sales price or volume could be higher, um, positive, favorable, our contribution and even profit is bad. Even we can quickly get the profit. What is the, like, 
it is 74 compared to 185 times by 100. 40 percent this is horrendous very bad 40 percent your profit gone down by yeah you thought your profit was 185 this is 111 even if you get it can get the difference between 185 minus 111 thousand so it is 74 thousand oh yeah it is given anyway here so 74 they get the percentage is better so we need to talk why it is now talk about the sales is a higher uh I better read the requirement, yeah? I mean, the scenarios in between. Uh, but before that, I'd like to do a little bit of uh, percentage calculation. 51 compared to this. 45. These are bigger uh, f adverse variances, which has caused you a big um, uh, loss, isn't it? Get the, get the percentages. We might need to use it. 51 compared to 368 times by 100. You get uh, 13 minus 14 percent you can say yeah 14 percent bad going down yeah and then 50 sorry 51 compared to 305 should be shouldn't he <laughs> okay let me do it 51 divided by 305 times by 100 so it is 16.72 means 17 percent yeah you can write it up no problem 17 percent bad then the next one, labor is 45 compared to 368 times by 100. Um, so 12% uh, bad. Yeah, this is even you can distribution cost. You can talk about it, but for 10 marks, it's all right. Uh, 38 times by 100. It's not that much, it's still 8% uh, bad. This is slightly better. Power is slightly better. Production over it is bad again. Uh, if you compare 7 over 76 times by 100, it's 9 percent. Yeah, so 9 percent bad overall contribution. How much is bad? You can talk about it now. Generally, you can talk as the general we discussed, but I'd like to go a little more specific. Other costs are not much big difference, these are all right. 5 percent um, variance can be acceptable, even sometimes 10 percent. Let's see the scenario. The business makes and sells a range of leather globes. The globes are made by hand in two different styles. Hand means this is something sophisticated, good, maybe expensive, different style. Each of these three alternative grades of leather. See, even two different styles need three alternative grades of leather. All six products are produced small, medium, large. Three sizes are there. Three grades of Two different styles means six types of products are there. So different ranges are there, do remember. The gloves are sold to department stores. Selling prices are negotiated by the sales manager. Maybe we're selling a little higher price. The original budget was based on production of 630. Um, pairs of gloves are showed operating profit 183. The operating statement uh, budget has flexed actual number of pairs. Uh, uh, and sold. Uh, there has been a noticeable shift in demand throughout the year. Shift in demand, yeah? That's a concerning matter. With increasing sales globes in the more uh, intricate of two styles. Okay, two styles, yeah? There are also been increasing demand for globes made with best grade leather. Maybe that's why we are looking for the better grade of uh, materials. Because of that better grade of materials, our material cost is very, very high, high by 17% each. It is negative uh, variance, doesn't it? Uh, the sale of small and medium-sized globes have been greater than expected, uh, whilst the si um, sales of the large have declined. Uh, not a problem, but be, uh, that is the reason of our sales volume gone up. Management accounts uh, prepared promptly at each month and comparing results with the monthly flex budget. There is no costing system. There is no costing system. Very bad. Hmm? That's why maybe no standard costing system. Um, that's what you can suggest then here, Trini. The chief accounting chief executive is alarmed by the poor profit performance. Uh, ask uh, the budget accountant to review the effectiveness of the budget accountant. Of course, he should be concerned because of this. Now, what can you answer here again? Now, talk about your sales, material, and labor. Three, three, three. Aim for it. Get your nine marks and one mark for uh, general talkie talkie. I'd rather talk about um, general means, um, you know, all the percentages I calculated here. Like, uh, I can talk about my profit has fallen by 40%. 40% going to give me one mark. Profit has fallen by. Uh, as I said, gonna give me one more mark. 
So that's how I'm going to uh, get my marks. Profit has fallen by 40%. 40% one marks and fallen one more mark. Yep. And uh, then I can talk about my sales material and labor, isn't it? Yeah. Sales, we have seen it is an increased uh, by some percentage, isn't it? Talk about it straight. 2.9%, 31,000. You can bring 31,000 or you can just talk about sales increase, 2.9 percentage, you get one mark. And uh, because why? Because the uh, demand increase, you get one mark. And uh, even you can get the average prices of your sales, you know, like well, what is the sales price? Uh, 1111 divided by 635. Yeah, let's do it. 1111 divided by 635. It's 635? Come on. It should be more than that. 1111 divided by 635. Yeah. 1.749 means 1 1.75. 1.75. Even that can be said. And this divided by or whatever is the figure. You can bring it down here and talk about it. 1.75. And talk about it. Then talk about your materials. You know, it is 75. Uh, 17% gone down. The other one, labor, is 12%. Um, uh, bad, it has increased. Down means bad. A cost increased. Cost increased. That's what you can talk about. Why? Because high uh, grade of materials you have used and it has cost you more and maybe uh, more wastage could be. Then here you hire category of labor you use. Talk about it. More efficient labor is being used. And the uh, overtime could have work. Talk about it. Get your full marks. I'd like to see the answer here at this point. Let's see the answer. That's your model answer. Operating statement shows the profit of this. They mentioned the profit. So they say you can 39% below. We said the profit is 40% when we do the flex here. Yeah. Uh, even it is 39%. How did they do it? This is basically they have compared this two. 111, 185. But 40% is definitely a good answer. You can bring it down here. Yeah, that's general talky talky. Then be specific to your question. 2.9% sales higher, even 1.75. And why it is. Then material, then labor. Yeah, you can talk about it. This has uh, flexed and this is uh, bad. Uh, why? Because the best quality of leather you have used, you're getting your marks. Yeah, you understand me? You're getting your marks everywhere. And the labor talk about it and get your full marks next one in the question the manager requires accounting system as I said talk about uh, a variable cost talk about fixed cost uh, and uh, talk about even the selling price let's see in the answer from the um, back of the book the seller manager need to know the cost of the each range variable cost yeah that's good to find it out Variable cost. How do you get 1.828, 1 1.44? Let me show you. Highlighting for you, this is your total variable cost flexed budget and this is your actual. So you just divide it with the number of units. You get the figures in the answer and bring it down into your answer and get uh, better marks. It seems like the increase due to the change of the mix and talky talky. Cost also like to vary according to fixed and variable. Talk about a contribution, talk about it, and get your full marks. And finally, uh, describe any failing that um, to perceive in the budgetary control process and suggest how budgetary control uh, could be. Stamp budget, we have already talked about, and we can bring it down here. Flexible budget is powerful. Talk, uh, some general talking, talking, then being a specific budgetary control could be improved by using a standard costing. There you go. This would provide a detailed cost data, a standard costing, you know, uh, two styles, times by three letter grades, times by three um, uh, sizes, so 18 products, you can bring it down. And then how can you improve in standard costing? Finally, budget accountant. Well, that's it. That is our long question. The revision, it is almost an hour, five minutes less than an hour. Uh, please watch the video one more time. Make sure you watch the other video uh, revision, which is number one. Um, let me show you. I just uploaded it today. Also do the green light test. Don't forget to do three more mock exams. All the best.
all your exams. Well, this is the video, Mabu AT Level 4 Management Accounting, which I have uploaded some uh, few hours back. You can check this out. So here is, you can see me even on the right hand side and uh, all the details have been given here. Uh, one, two, uh, task one, two, three, four. Even my uh, the mixes are here. So it's, uh, you, it's highly recommended to check this out. I wish you all the ve very best one more time. Do well in your exam and do good. Take good preparation. Goodbye for now. See you in some other video. Bye-bye.